My Prayer for Peace. Pope Francis, a genuinely spiritual person, asked us each, according to our own religion, to pray for peace. This is my prayer for peace in accordance with what I believe. We see through a glass darkly now. Thou shalt not put false gods before me, I learned in my Catholic elementary school. I don't understand the nonverbal event level. I don't know if there is a God, or if there is, what kind of God there would be. I only have beliefs, things that have made sense to me, beliefs that have helped me to organize my life and helped me to know how to act in life. My concern with peace comes from my experiences in life. I am a gang stalking target. I have lost all confidence in my government because of this. I have seen the ugliest face of my fellow human beings who have stalked and harassed me for years. Now my government, the government that unleashed the hate I confront every day in government gang stalking, has said it wants to attack another country. Our constant wars have given us watch lists that rob us of due process has pitted neighbor against neighbor with suspicious activity reports, has created a national security state where the NSA spies on every American, where they have tried to suppress our press, where our privacy is almost non-existent, where our police have been militarized, where they want drones to blanket our skies. And now they want to attack a sovereign nation which is really an act of war. How do we find peace in all this? My prayer is that we find it in ourselves. My prayer is that we accept the responsibility that we were given with the words, I am the vine and you are the branches. How do we find peace if each one of us pursues his own self-interest? If each of us holds up our values and says to others, you must accept them. You must live by my values. I have the truth. I have the answers. I know what is best. I must control things. I must be in charge. To hell with you and your crazy ideas and your weird personality and your decadent values. Me, 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 me. My ideas, my values, my feelings, my truth, my decisions, they must prevail and I will terrorize you and torture you and kill you and jail you and surveil you and harass you until you recognize my authority and live under my rule because I am right and you are wrong. You can't be trusted and I will do anything. I will go to war to prevail. And thus, peace is lost and conflict begins. The first thing we need to change this situation is humility. We are all sinners. The United States that wants to punish Syria for using weapons of mass destruction, has the blood of Nagasaki and Hiroshima on its hands. We are all sinners. We must start, if we want peace, to be more humble. We must accept we are different. We have different cultures and different religions and different political beliefs and different experiences. And we have history that shows us the wars and the hate and the human suffering that human beings have reigned on each other. In an age where nuclear weapons will inevitably be in more hands, in an age where unspeakable weapons of mass destruction will inevitably be used, in an age where cyber attacks may create new scenarios we have never seen before, is there any sane person that thinks any country can ever anymore win anything more than the most temporary of victories? Isn't it in the interest of every one of us to strive for peace? But how? Not by ourselves. <clears throat> peace cannot come from us alone. It can only come if we, the people of the world, become humble. We have all sinned. You, my brother and sisters, who I sometimes hate, 
sometimes don't understand, sometimes can't stand, sometimes wish you were out of my life, you and I and all the peoples of the world must learn to talk to each other. We all have needs, we have wants, we have dreams, we have weaknesses, we have our very imperfect human nature. And if we are to live in peace, we must learn how to talk to each other, how to listen, how to respect even when we don't agree. There is a way. It requires us to hold our assumptions in abeyance and think together. To realize these thoughts we have are hardly ever ours alone. They come from family and culture and religion and countless other sources. Some are very important to us. They give our life meaning and help organize our life. And we often believe with everything in us, they are truth, but they also put barriers between us. They cause us to have wars. And from everything that's been said, we should realize no one today can win a war for very long. So we have to learn to talk to each other. And in the beginning, that's all we need, a commitment to talk to each other and to listen and to hold our assumptions in abeyance. That's my prayer for peace, that people all over the world will right now wake up to the fact we have to learn to talk to each other. There really anymore isn't any other choice.